bibliocracy. Um, and what I mean by that is that I have seen Hebrew Israelite women who work whole jobs, take care of the kids and come home and their men demand to be men and that they be respected and that they refer to their men as master and just a whole array of things. And the biggest thing that I'm going to say is in an SHTF situation, especially if it's a life or death situation, um, you do not want to have a man who is not an alpha male or a man who can at least fight and protect you and provide for you. The bare minimum of what you should be demanding is that if you are to step back into being a feminine woman who takes care of the children, who keeps the house clean, who um, makes the dinners and... Um, of course, takes care of her husband as well at home, then he needs to be the man and the provider that God has called him to be. So with that being said, that um, if your man is um, overweight and cannot fight and is out of shape and all he does is have an attitude and complain, then chances are he is not an alpha male and would not be able to protect you um, with maybe with a gun, but without a gun from a, another man. And that is a big thing, in my opinion, is that if you are going to have a man around in SHTF, he needs to be able to protect you, especially if you're going to be able to step back into that feminine role. You cannot step back into that feminine role if you have to do a whole bunch of masculine things. And that's just the biggest thing. So another thing that I will also say is that I have observed that um, a lot of men are saying that with when the SHTF happens, that women are just going to have to deal with polygamy and step back into their roles. Well, I just want to let everyone know is that a lot of times when women act masculine, for instance, a woman having a very nasty attitude, it, a lot of times they have trauma, childhood trauma, and it's the defense mechanism. And the other thing I like to say is a lot of time when women act masculine is because they don't have that man around that is the provider that is stepping into that masculine role to where they can step back and be a feminine woman and take care of their feminine needs. These women did have a man around, they wouldn't act the way that it, they do. But that's, you're going to have to take on some masculine traits and do masculine things in order to protect yourself or even your children if you have them. She's not in the spirit. Look how she acted. But the men of Israel have, are lacking the compassion on the woman. That's right. And... How, how, how are we going to take back the, the, the world, the nation, without the woman? Husbands, love your wives. Read again. Husbands, love your wives. Read again. Husbands, love your wives. Yeah, man, how come these camps don't teach that? But the men of Israel have are lacking the compassion on the woman. Because they're virtuous women. But the men of Israel have are lacking the compassion on the woman because they're virtuous women have are lacking the compassion i want to give all the praises and the honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of great millstone also a sincere shalom to you other followers your fellow laborers you supporters of the truth and mainly let me say shalom to the elect. Anyway, this video is inspired off a video of Apostle Tahar did, Elder Apostle Tahar, called, um, his channel is GMS Declaring the End, by the way. He has a few channels. Um, it says, uh, the title of this video is Let Your Woman Keep Silence in the Churches. Um, I've done videos on that because there's uh, a few of these Israelite women this is why I'm going into this because of this um, as I you can pull up all these clips of these different women uh, but there was another woman not this woman in the clip but there was another woman who was trying to justify why that was just for that time right so um, because you know that's what they think and it's our job just to speak the truth you know and it's going to edify and teach the body and you few sisters who may be watching as well um, or new brothers coming in might have wives or whoever they know, you know. 
um, but he went through it anyway it says 1 Corinthians 14.34 let your woman keep silence in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak but they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law right so the reason why they're not uh, they're permitted um, not permitted to speak because of also see of the law to be under obedience and you know what they were saying this is why uh, the elder apostle said if you a woman uh, you know Israelite woman aqua off and you get on there and say shalom um, and you ask a sincere question that's being under obedience right as also say the law but when you start coming out and you start trying to, to you know declare how a man should be and uh, if he's fitting for you and she's making these videos to say how do you know that any of these men might not be the elect the elect might not even be in the best of health but the most high say he's going to give us the, the crown of glory the crown of life men going to have extra special powers man uh, it, clearly this is what these other Israelite groups breed they breed these type of women man you know with her so called sensual look this is what they do these is these are Israelite groups man um, so anyway it's a few things she said okay um, she's talking about the woman's role or whatever but then she still says it's about the man's responsibility she never really goes into the responsibility of a woman and that's where she should have stayed at but she couldn't do that because feminism and the truth is what it is she couldn't lock it in man and just say okay let me keep it here because there's no balance there's no balance whatsoever man okay uncontrolled undisciplined emotions nothing wrong with emotions men get emotional are yeah, we supposed to have emotions but then you have a, a, a emotion that's undisciplined, right? Um, she said the S H when the crap hits the fan. Okay. She says that you may have to do a masculine role. See, they don't have faith, and this is what effeminate means, faithless. They don't have faith to understand that this is the Lord show. This is not our show. This is not even the men's show. It's the Lord who sets up the elect to run the show. And if you had faith, you know, according to the scriptures, you wouldn't be making all these crazy decisions on what you think this man is. So now you put it out there. If you were a wife and a man seemed like he can't fight, then you don't need to be with him. This is what they say, man. This place is full of adultery. Now she knows what's all best. She doesn't have a role. Now she's saying that this is why women are being masculine. They're being masculine because they don't have no men to step in. Well, you've been being masculine all along. You know, <laughs> this is what you wanted to do. Then when the SH, the SHTF kicks off, then all of a sudden you're supposed to protect me then she goes on to talk about in the ancient times which is true men were men right men were men and um more alpha you know more tougher but remember women were too <laughs> women were different everyone was different so you can't use that either in fact men lost their lives too what do you think every man won the war Every man fought and lived. Some man killed another man. So what the heck is you talking about? Anyway, also see the law. Okay, let's go to Numbers 27. Uh, 27 and um, 15. And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, right, thy God of the saints of all flesh, set a man over the congregation right which may go out before them which may go in before in before them which may lead them out and which may bring them in the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep 
which have no shepherd. Yep, only this society can switch that all around. Deut uh, Deuteronomy 33 and 4. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun when the heads of the peoples, I wonder who the heads of the peoples were, and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Okay, so we get the point. So again, this woman is... Um, making all these suggestions on what what you should do and how you should be you know and if the man is don't seem like he could fight he's not an alpha male but didn't well who were they raised by right um, this is crazy um, always crying about the man always crying about the man they've managed to take this and make it all about us. But did you not understand we are under a curse? We are under a curse. So this. Eve. This is what they think. And this is how they think. That no matter what situation that you're in. That you're supposed to have the big mansion on the house. And you're supposed to be able to fully take care of them. Even though they're in situations. Where they're able to do more. Right. Right. And what happened to backing of the woman? If you see your man fall, right? Your men are falling or your men are messed up. And you see them in a, in a condition. Society states, it doesn't matter. He's still supposed to help you. Even though he has a system that's fully, de basically decapitated his spirit. And put him in a low level state of being. Or he's got to, even if he's in the truth... He's got the, the hardships that's coming against him. This is why Paul said what he said. He, he, he wished that we were like him. They didn't have to deal with that. And you can imagine now. I'd imagine now it's probably worse. It's probably worse. Because this is all those empires and kingdom rolled up in, once, in one. So now all of a sudden, even though we took the plunge is men all the hell that we're catching right you would think that Eve would say well you know what I know what's going on they're trying to take you away and, 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 and uh, where we become weak and that's what happens you do become weak when you become the head you don't realize that but you don't know Eve don't say that Eve don't have no heart no love man but 30 years ago, 50 years ago even, when you was down there and everything, and, and, and you know, although it was some messed up times, a lot of Jake had your back. But you know what Eve do when she get it? She gets raised up on high like the queen, right? And then what she says in her mind is society teaches her that they're supposed to be up there with you. Anyway, Malachi 2 and... Um, one and now O oh, ye priests this commandment is for you if ye will not hear and if ye will not lay, lay it to heart to give unto glory unto my name say if the Lord of hosts I will even send a curse upon you and I will curse your blessings one of our blessings is our women right supposedly the blessings is the truth the blessings is well, the blessings are all the things we're supposed to have. All the things. Wives. Wives with an S. Money. The wealth. The earth. This is why the scripture said the Lord is the prophet of wisdom. This is why they can't be prophets. This is why the Most High set up men. And whether she likes it or not. The elect will raise up uh, and men will raise up. I don't worry about this video because at the end of the day, all that pride is going to ooze off when that S-H-T-F, okay, when it hits the fan. There ain't going to be time to say, ooh, you're too tall. Ooh, you're too old. Ooh, your feet don't look like they well. What did Isaiah 7 and 1 say? <laughs> it didn't sit up there and say, Oh, well, you know, you got to pick the eligible man that's good for you. This is how much they switched everything. 
It ain't about you picking no damn body, man. It's what the Lord sets up. You know? It's what the Lord set up. I, you know, Jake gets hyped with this scripture when they first come in the truth, but, you know, sometimes you got to read it again. Because we ain't in the time to worry about that right now at this point, but it's for truth's sake. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. What man? <laughs> I got news for you. And, and, and this is what I believe. Even men that's not even of the elect. There's going to be men. Which is going to be off. But they're, they're, there's women who are going to be running the men in general. But only the elect men. Will um, prevail. Right. Because everything is going to go back. Everything is going to go back to so called normal. Before it goes. This, this thing goes. Right? We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right? So it's not going to be, you know, I want to correct that. It's not going to be like just any man, you know, that women going to come running to any. But this is how it's going to more likely play out. But the only men that really matter is the elect. That's the only men that it matters. And some of the men who have families, if you're the elect, that's the only men that matters. But when this thing hits the fan, they're going to scramble. And they're going to go where... Remember, there's men that's in the truth that's not the elect. Lord willing, I am. And they, they're going to know they're the Hebrew Israelites. And they're going to say, well, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do, Bishop? Well, I'll read Malachi 2 again. Oh, now, ye priest, and this commandment is for you, if ye were not here... And if you will not lay it, lay it to heart to give glory unto my name, say if the Lord of hosts, I will curse you. God, Israelites are saying that you don't have to say the name of the Lord. I-U-I-C. So what about Deuteronomy 28? When it goes into the curses, the tender and delicate woman, her eyes shall be evil. She's just filling all those uh, prophecies. Okay? Anyway, I don't have much to say on that. I just wanted to touch on that, that this is an example why um, Apostle Paul said what he said and um, even to this day we, we could see things that happening then and now under the reincarnation you know which we do believe that we see these same things happening then that has to be brought out then that's also being brought out today the same thing playing out the same way anyway that's all I have on that Shalom